Good morning, UK truckers. Now, today we are going to cover your daily walk round check. Now, there's often a lot of myths in this where people seem to think you need to be showing 15 minutes on your card doing it. There actually isn't a stipulation or any law that states how long it should take, but it's definitely something you should be doing properly. So in this short video, we are going to go through a few of the sort of basics, if you like, uh, things that I've learned over the years. I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs. Most of you are familiar with the driver defect book, but this is more a few things to look out for and bits and pieces I've collected over the years uh, to make it a bit more simple. So first off the bat would be my tyre pressure gauge. Now, yes, a lot of new trucks have it on their systems that you can look on the dash, but the older trailers, older trucks haven't. A uh, truck tyre can always look inflated and you think it's all right until you put something like this on and you realise it can be as much as half its recommended PSI. Next off the bat is the depth gauge checker. Now, this is a very handy. These are about a pound, if that, on a eBay, things like that. Uh, but you can also use a coin. You can use the edge of a coin to measure a gap. That can be as much as sort of three mil down to a mil. So you can always use a coin, drop it in the tyre groove. And if you're very lucky and your truck's been for PMI, have a look underneath because there's always a good chance a mechanic's left one of these stuck underneath of it. Uh, that's how I got this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Good in this time of year, in the winter months, you know, when it's a bit dark if you're starting early in the morning. Now, most modern trucks nowadays have one of these light checkers on the key fob. So this will get all your lights going, uh, preferably when you've hitched up to a trailer so you can check that as well. But if you haven't got one of these, put an ivy's over the back or use a wall or anything you can sort of see the back lights in just to check the lights are all tickety-boo. We're not going to go through things like oil and water because most trucks nowadays have that on the computer inside and they don't have a dipstick as such to check things. So uh, any truck you're in, just make sure you familiarise yourself how to get the bonnet catch open, things like that. Like the XF here is hidden under the step. That's where your boots go, people. So starting at the front of the truck, we're going to be checking our front lights, any sort of whirlers that we might need to be on site windscreen mirrors making sure there's no cracks in any of them especially on your windscreen making sure there's no cracks in the sweep zone etc we're going to be checking bodywork at the front of the cab nothing broken off nothing's been hit by forklifts or other drivers and your camera systems making sure they're all in place no leaks on the diesel tank Again, checking tyres as we work our way down, but also getting in between to make sure we've got no debris between the tyres. Or even worse, you could have a flat tyre on the inside and not notice. Moving down the truck again, we're going to be checking any auxiliaries we've got, any equipment. So PTO lines, the crane, whatever you've got on here. Moving on to your air lines, run the truck up to full air pressure. Make sure none of these are leaking air. So moving down the trailer again, we're checking the back lights on the unit, the legs are winding up nice and freely, trailer brake, make sure that's working, then we come down to sort of wheel arches, mud flaps, again checking tyres, checking wheel nuts as we go, so any sort of corrosion that's showing on the inside, sort of round the edge could mean that the wheel's loose and it's moving around. We're going to be checking our trailer back lights, obviously only what we can check, but again, if you've got that sort of light check button, that will get the hazard lights going, the reverse lights, alarms, audio alarms, that sort of thing. And last but not least, right on the back, the number plate. The next thing we're going to be looking at is load security. Now, I appreciate this changes in every industry you do. You could be on tankers, curtain siders, flatbeds like me but you know your job and you know what you should be checking but straps are all good no wear and tear things like that just making sure nothing's going to fall off on your journey out walking from the back of the trailer back to the cab just keep your ear holes open make sure airbags ain't leaking things like that that are going to cause you headache while you're out on the road so once you're in the cab, you want to make yourself familiar on how to check the lorry's system. So in the DAF, it's on this little roller thing down here. And you can just scroll through, checking air supplies, all good. 
and bits and pieces like that. That's the sort of way you check trucks nowadays. The days of lifting up the cab and pulling out dipsticks are long gone. And thank the Lord for it. So hopefully in the not too distant future, we're gonna start making a few of these little products available on the website, uh, uktruckers.uk. And yeah, they'll be nice and cheap. We'll find the cheapest options, but also the ones that work the best and the most reliable. So other than that, Enjoy your day on the road. Happy trucking. I'll catch you later.